Welcome to the forest. <laughs> See how safely I'm perched atop my ladder? I'm bringing back the Tree Talk series for a very special occasion. It's fall, which means that it's time again to tend to the chestnuts in various ways. For those of you who don't know, my forest is home to a very unique, possibly to the planet, example of specimen of the American chestnut, which is a species that's long been in decline on the edge of extinction. And we'll get to that one in a moment, but first I just thought I would show you how I'm... See how this tree is moving? You probably can't see the top of it, but I'm using this rope and it's pulling up this chestnut that I discovered a couple of years ago when I was opening up this area. And it was leaning because of the trail in that direction and it was completely overgrown with red maples here. And so it was reaching to the light, which meant it was leaning far over. And so for the last couple of years, I've been straightening it up with the help of this American beech. And also now I've added another rope here to another beech further off in the distance over there. So between the two beeches, I'm able to hoist this chestnut a little more vertical. And it's actually doing very well. I think uh, it'll only be another maybe five years and it should be standing pretty straight again. So anyways, this is nice and tight now. I was taking advantage of using both trees and my counterweight over there to pull it higher and then I could tighten it in place with this other one. And it's standing solid now. Good news, and look at how incredibly lush that tree is. It's just spectacular. I love chestnuts. So let's get on to the Miracle Sisters chestnut and the very special find. I'm here beside the Miracle Sisters chestnut just to introduce any of you who don't know about it. This is an American chestnut. This is a red oak. Down here, they've joined. So basically this is one tree. And far overhead, there are two different kinds of leaves. And more importantly, two different kinds of fruit. You have acorns and chestnuts. And this, is an incredible specimen of an American chestnut in this era. There's not a sign of the blight anywhere. And also the fruit is viable. The chestnuts are viable. I have been sprouting them and planting their babies. And so I'm hopeful that the, I didn't tell you the history, my theory that these two are exchanging genetic material and therefore the American chestnut is being strengthened by its bond with the red oak which is helping it to completely fight off the blight and because this is a genetic exchange I think that the chestnuts that it produces are benefiting from this and therefore the children will be automatically immune to the blight. It's going to take many years to find out. Some of the children are now two or three years in the ground, but it's still going to be a long time before they reach the size where the blight takes a toll, probably another as much as 10 years. But in the meantime, this is the time of year when I clean up this area 
for all of the new growth so that I can look for fallen chestnuts. It's completely by accident. I was here with some friends the other day and we just came over to admire the tree and sure enough there were chestnuts on the ground three weeks early. It's been an incredible year for growing chestnuts. So I will show you a couple that are lying on the ground right now that I haven't picked up yet this morning and then I'll show you what we've been waiting for. <laughs> My goodness. So first, let's look for some chestnuts. I'm here beside what I refer to as the grandmother chestnut tree. This is the mother of the Miracle Sisters chestnut tree. And you can see here from all of these suckers that are coming out from the bottom, many of which are dead because they already have the blight. Obviously what I'm saying is the tree has the blight. And this tree has had this blight for at least 10 years now. And I keep waiting year after year, not waiting in a, I keep dreading year after year that she's going to succumb that year. And last year she really succumbed badly to it. And there was only one branch overhead, the lowest branch of the main large branches that was still alive. But there were no flowers, no chestnuts. The tree was suffering so badly. The year prior to that, two years ago, she produced one nut and it sprouted. This is a little baby chestnut tree growing right here beside her that I'm sheltering from the rodents. And that baby's doing really well. I don't know if it's showing in the shot. I'll do some close-ups to show you how bad the blight is on this tree. It's horrific. The other day, when I went over to the Miracle Sisters chestnut, which is about 100 feet yonder, on my way back, I had to clear the trail here a little bit. We're right beside the trail because a branch had fallen from higher up of the chestnut. Here's the end of it. It fell onto the trail and so I cleared it off the trail, put it over here, and then I glanced up into the space where that branch had fallen to see if there was any damage to that living branch. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I saw chestnuts. I had been here earlier in the season and there were no flowers that I could find when the Miracle Sisters tree was just covered in flowers. But obviously there were some and they've done their magic. And so there are three chestnuts up there that I've seen. There may be more hiding in the leaves, but I doubt it because there's only the one branch. And so I'm on a special quest to be able to get those because this is quite probably the last year when you look at the damage that this tree has sustained from the blight, it's just unbelievable. So it just seems to me that this is her last push, her last bit of energy going into those last seeds. I hope that I'm wrong and that 10 years from now, <laughs> she'll still be going. But at any rate, I'm going to get those nuts and I'm going to be sprouting them and planting them. 
The forest never ceases to amaze me. Such incredible discoveries just bring such richness to my life. And I wanted to share it with you. What a beautiful day. Thank <laughs> you.